Hey guys, Dave here. Um, apologies, I've got the camera turned around. Hi, I'm here. But I wanted to show you guys um, a Facebook group. It's um, a private group. And I don't know if you can see that there. But it's called Cybertrack Australia HPV, which is not the virus. It stands for Human, pow human Powered Vehicle. Plus EA, which stands for Electric Assist. Development Group. So this is a private development group for the build that I'm building. Um, and there's a picture of it under the tarp, which that's the Cybertruck. Um, I've got 52 members in this private group. Anyone that wants to join this group, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but you'll have to find me on Facebook first. I'll try and put links up, but I don't know that Facebook allows... I mean, sorry, I don't know that YouTube allows Facebook links. But anyway, see how we go. I want to um, show you guys photos um, to take you through my build. Um, what's going on here? Hang on. No, that was right. So, um... There's the most recent photos. I've just got to scroll back to the earliest ones. Load in. And, um, sorry about the glare. I can see that. But, um, still got more to go till we get to the earlier ones. There's so much in here. Okay, so here's the start. Um, this is a computer drawing. Hang on, I'm going to shut that door to get rid of the glare. Okay. Glare somewhat sorted. Um, so, there's a Cybertruck, it's got one quad doubled <laughs> over the top of it, that's why you can see two seats and two sets of wheels, apologies for the dogs barking. Um, Chewy, stop it! Here's another computer drawing top down, I started to overlay, you can't see it too good. Um, but that shows you how narrow the Cybertruck is um, and long. This is it front on. This is it uh, rear on, <laughs> the rear end. And here's a side view with me inside. Um, so the shadowy bit is I measured my body up against the scaled down version that I'm building. And um, that building's, that, sorry, that picture is um, like the building, only partly done. Um, and yeah, I fit inside, only just. My head is where the um, rear, passion, rear passengers in a, in a normal Cybertruck's heads would be. Um, my ass is down near their feet, and um, my feet are up above the front axle. Um, there isn't a front axle, it's all independent suspension, and there isn't a rear axle either for that same reason. Um, but it's actually, it's all independent, so there's nothing going right across the vehicle, and that same thing repeats on the trailer, which we'll get to. Um, so that's a template of the bonnet. There's a picture of the light bars. Um, that are on the Cybertruck. Here's a, a top view, first top view that I scrapped and altered for the trailer. Um, instead of having it point that way, it went um, vertically rather than, yeah, so it went, I went with this. Um, but even that was changed, so that's um, sideways, apologies. Um, so this is what I'm going for. Um, as you can see, that's all like stainless steel finish, and um, that's what I'm going to be going for. It's going to look like 
similar finish to your that you see on a fridge door. Um, you know, stainless steel appliances in your kitchen, um, stainless steel splashboards um, in your kitchen and such. Um, yeah, so the Cybertruck is all stainless steel anyway. And um, the trailer I have altered quite a bit. So I've moved the double wheels back and um, changed the shape but um, made it a pop top at the same time. We'll keep going. So this is closer to what the trailer ended up looking like, except with the wheels further back. Um, so here you can see I'm true to the original, but um, at the end of the day, we ended up having the wheels further back. Um, and it's been a pop top, we've got the bottom section and then we've got a section that drops up. I did imagine putting another panel in to give me more head height and that can be done, sorry about the wobbles, we're on a wobbly tripod, um, that can be done in the future um, but for now we've just got the top section and the bottom section which does give me enough height in here to stand up. Another picture of that. Here's the Cybertruck trailer, micro camper, sorry, behind the Cybertruck, just giving you proportions so they're very similar uh, in design in a lot of aspects. Um, that's it with the top up. Um, this is what the real Cybertruck looks like um, back wheel and back wheel arch and um, rear end. Um, there's a, a, a drawing um, that turned out to be a cardboard cutout and it's done in um, that shiny metal cardboard um, with just some black cardboard where the wheels go. This is just to get a feel of how, how it's going to look and then basically this is an updated version of the drawing and then we went 3D with that. Um, which is still rough, <laughs> but uh, there's top view. Um, does show how long and narrow it is, doesn't it? Um, so, oh, top view with the roof up. So, the roof on my Cybertruck is my door. I get in through the top, um, so it's more of a lid. And um, that ugly panel there represents the front window. Um, I don't have any side windows on this, so it's all shiny, sorry. Um, there's the front view. This is before I got a rear end on it. And uh, this is after I got a rear end on it. Those bits there changed, obviously, because they look that, that's not how it goes. The bumper goes across there anyway. And here's the camper side by side with the Cybertruck. So that's all... Um, about as big as your tablet, maybe a tiny bit bigger. You know, it's about 10 inches, 30, 10, 12 inches, 30 centimet 25, 30 centimetres, something like that. Um, all up, I think we're um, five and a half metres in length when the full thing's done. We're um, 800 wide plus the wheels and wheel arches. I've got no wheel arches on this. Um, I didn't actually go ahead, go any further with that. I thought that's good enough for some photos. This is video. And here we start the build. Um, so the build out of wood and advertising signs. So this is the start on the Cybertruck. Um, with Chewy in the picture. All fluffy before he got a tick bite and lost all his hair. And um, he's actually very tiny. He's half the size of a cat that puts it into proportion. This is a little tiny kiddies chair that I can't sit in. Um, and that's a 20 litre, I don't know how many gallons that is, but 20, meter, 20 litre petrol drum. This all helps with proportions. This is a wiring thing that I had. Hang on, we've lost. What are we onto here? Oh. <laughs> showing what a light would look like, representing where the front was. We started on the sides here. There's my feet, I sat in front of it, 
I sat inside it and there's a little model that I showed you earlier so that was handy whoops damn it that was handy to um right, it's easy I can go to where we want to go it was handy to have the little cardboard this little thing um, while building the template version which here we are now back to that there's my feet again okay so now we start to put panels to it um, those light bars on the back the two of those light bars ended up going right across as one big light bar um, once again we can see the, the little model down here just laying on its side beside the the full size one. Um, these little things, which is a proper copy to the cy proper Cybertruck, um, are actually flaps on the Cybertruck they are, they flap open. So I copied that and here, here's a picture of me grabbing the flap and opening the flap and there it is open. Here's the light bars installed. Um, my phone sitting on the roof there it's not very big I built this on a, um, a sewer tank and occasionally when someone flushed and the wind was blowing the wrong way it wasn't fun here's a side view of the light bars another view of the light bars I started painting it silver at this stage so um, that's a bit of silver tape there because I didn't like the look of the edges Chewy was climbing in and out of that gap, and that gap's about 10 12 centimeters by memory. Um, uh, the back of the Cybertruck folds down like a ute. I don't know if I've got photos of it down. There's the little bits I had to cut off the light bars. This is a picture of the group. There's a picture of the front light bar installed. That's it off with the front panel in, and we've got the it's a bit dark because it's black. We've got the bumper in with um, the opening for the number plate. The number plate's not there yet. There's it with the number plate in. <laughs> and uh, at that stage I'd already ordered the headlights because I knew what size that had be they'd been. And they still haven't arrived and it's a big screw up. Um, now we're starting to work on the side windows. Um, the framing. And um, as you can see they're taped on zoom in can I zoom in yep so as you can see they're taped on and um, but uh, it's starting to take shape at this stage and uh, once we start to get a few more bits on so front almost finished that's it up against my push bike so that's got 29 inch wheels um, that's a big mountain bike and um, it's got a fang on it and I think a 13 amp hour battery which I'm not happy with um, more photos of that more photos of the rear what have we got here video and then we put it under cover for rain and oh, now we've got the, car, the guards on so copying the Cybertruck guards, these are screws, so they're screwed on, but the, um, the proper guards won't be screwed on like that, you won't see screw holes, sorry I hit the camera tripod there, um, that's it again, I'll just zoom in, front view, you've seen heaps I know, sorry, this is a good photo side on, now we've got the glass in, so that's tinted perspex, 3mm thick, the front one's going to be clear. I'm not sure. I could go for tinted, but I'm not sure about that. The front one's supposed to be clear, and that, that's going to be 5mm. The roof's going to be tinted, and that's going to be 5mm again. And uh, there you go, side view. It's a good shot. Rear view. Looks a lot better with the guards on. And so now with two light bars. Apologies for the 
I don't know if you can hear that chopper in the background. Hopefully no one needs rescuing in the bush. Don't park at the chopper Chewy. Here's a shot of the light lighting up the grass. So it's really bright. It's like a, a car with high beams or spotties maybe. Just with the two light bars, no headlights at this stage. There's the um, actual Cybertruck steering wheel which I will be trying to copy. Um, oh that photo was a show off photo. So when you punch in at one stage, when you punched in 40% Cybertruck, it doesn't work now. On YouTube, my photo came up first, and straight under it we got Elon Musk doing the same thing my dogs are doing, which I thought was funny. Hang on. I can't zoom in anymore. But my dogs are on the back, and then Elon's on the back. And I'm right above, and now the dogs are going to bark at this chopper. Apologies, guys. Um... Then the next thing was to copy the number plate, so I found a Aussie looking one, and there we go. The plates flap in, front and rear, so you can just push them inwards and, they, and you can put your hand in. Um, it's like a little access port. And here we go with the start of the trailer. So at that stage, stage it's just a sled. Um, and I don't know if you saw there, but I was already charging my battery. I put the battery inside the Cybertruck and put the solar panels out and we started charging the battery, which I'm still using. Here we go, there's another shot of the, the camper base. And didn't really get much shots of me building because I rushed and didn't take enough photos. Um, you can see a point there that's not supposed to be there because these top bits are too high. So you can imagine that being a few inches lower. Um, but that's it behind the Cybertruck. So now we're going from drawing to cardboard to template, full size template. And I don't know if you noticed there, but that's not even complete. The back section in, under my finger. It's just wood wood frame still. I didn't have I didn't have enough um, core flute to finish. And here we are with the top section. F oh, sorry, the bottom section finished. And at that stage, I decided I could move in. <laughs> um, I was living in a tent, and the tent was not very good. Let's say that it was mouldy, had holes, and had issues. Canvas tent, and it had to go. There was no fixing or cleaning it. Um, so here we are, solar panels on the roof, and um, I, had, I just threw a tarp over the roof of it because I knew I had to build the top section. So this is basically like an empty bucket, you know, an empty box base. And uh, here's inside it, my shoes. And um, that's me laying down with a blanket over me and dogs on top. And here we start on the top section. Um, those bits sticking out indicate how wide it'll be when we open up the flaps. So there's flaps that come out, both sides. Um, so if we imagine that top section dropping down over the bottom section. So when it comes up, you can open up the flaps and now you've got three times the width. Um, and around those flaps, that's why you don't see any more, more of that, we have um, a, either fly screen or a lightweight tent. And the tent will be a silvery material tent, like that nylon silver tent you see. Here we are. More of the framework of the top section. And it's bigger than the bottom section because it has to fit over it but only just bigger. Uh, come on. There we go. Now it's covered. Um, once again, I rushed that. This is it with the top section and bottom section built in a new location um, with a great view. <laughs> awesome view. I'm there now. And um, I'm, uh, I've got the top down in this, obviously. So you can see a, a line along the bottom and then another line underneath it. So the line underneath is the actual floor. The line on top is the line where the false floor goes, where that finishes. 
and it's also the point where the top of the box section on the top finishes so when that slides up it becomes the roof and sit down again and here we go up so when it slides up that piece becomes in line with the roof um, it looks like we lose a lot of space here but you'd be surprised it's not that bad um, that's it I've just I don't have flaps at the side that come out yet so I've just got a bit of a tarp I don't even have a proper roof because I ran out of core fluid again and uh, then we went on to some other things so here's some design work on the drive system I won't go into how that's happening just now because I'm running out of time on this video we're at 20 minutes plus and anyway um, that's it for uploaded um, shots and um, here we are inside the camper um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment but um, there's the roof if you can orientate yourself and um, then there's the bottom section roof and I've been cleaning and looking at how dirty that water is that's because I've been cleaning the back of these signs which I never got to do properly I just ran a a hose and a broom over them um, but now they're actually properly clean on the inside and um, yeah so bye guys I'll talk to you soon